Hey guys, welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic video, and in today's episode, we go over how to use the anti gravity, how to create anything with it. Because so I've seen people have some trouble with creating it, and well, creating it, we've seen that in the previous episode, but using it to do some stuff actually, like, for example, stuff like that, which is pretty easy, but um, yeah, I'll go over that right now. So, I've made a no um, default thing, a default anti gravity thing, and all these wooden blocks are axis lock slash anti gravity things. Now, I've added the upside down one, and um, well, these are pretty much the basic ones, but there's just one thing different. This one is the second version. This isn't the, the normal uh, ones anymore because this one has different rotation sets for uh, the bearings. Now instead of 0030 this one has 0230 and that makes it way more stable for some reason and it even doesn't need that many uh, blocks of weight anymore and it can just work like that as as long as the center of mass is in the middle. So um, let's go over the exact details with the center of mass stuff. Um, and we'll be creating some mini uh, flyer stuff as well. So how do you use this? Well, just take one of these and well, it does work just like that already. But if you want to actually use it, then you can either weld it to the ground, but then um, you need to be sure to not have the, um, to not ra rotate it. So if you take it on this side, then it works if you weld it over here. So you need to be sure to actually have it on the right side. Otherwise this, this thing won't work anymore. Wait. Well, the rotation of the lift seems to be a problem as well, because normally, yeah, see, you just don't rotate it while welding, and then it should be fine. Um, now, yeah, that one is gone. Don't have loose ones like this. Always have a block attached to it. Anyway, um, so how to create some flying stuff with it? Well. First of all, let's go over the center of mass thing. If you want to have something like this and fly uh, stuff with it, then you need to have uh, a creation with the center of mass in the axis of this thing. Now, how do you do this? Uh, first of all, you need to have this thing over there. Like that, so without rotating, so yeah. Um, now the center of mass is below this uh, below this, this bearing, or bearing, that bearing over there, and it'll work. Now the center of mass is not below the bearing, it won't work. And now it should work. So if we hit it with a hammer, then we should see this block moving, but it doesn't because the center of mass is not exactly in the middle. There's a tree here too. Yeah, now it should be exactly in the middle and it should move, as you can see. Now, how to get around it? Because people want to be able to do a flyer over here and a flyer over here and actually weld it together like this. Now, if you want to do this, then it's a little bit more difficult. Because the center of mass needs to be, for this, for this bearing, it needs to be below the bearing or above the bearing, so in this axis. And for this bearing, it needs to be in this axis too. Now. The problem is over here, you cannot have the center of mass over here and the center of mass over here. There's two solutions to this. Either you separate this 
and attach a bearing in between. So this is a separate object and this is a separate object. And then the center of mass can be in the middle for this one and in the middle for this one. Or you can use extra mass. And the more mass you use, so for example, we have a, this, this, this is an, uh, let's say this is an ultra heavy block from the turf mold. And the more mass you have over here, the more effect it'll have. So the, the radius will grow bigger, the more mass you have. And in this radius, the anti-gravities will work even if the center of mass is not well in, in the axis. So the total mass has a kind of radius and if the mass is really low, like right now, then the, the center of mass needs to be in this axis. But if the mass grows bigger, then it'll have a bigger, bigger radius where the center of mass is. And in this radius, the anti-gravities will all work. So for example, if you have this, and this ultra heavy block and you multiply it by 100 or so, then the radius will grow bigger and then this will be included and this too. And that way they will both work. So how do we do this? We get some glitch wall blocks from the previous episode. So for example, this one or this one. Um, now this one is with the Durf ultra heavy block 600 times. This will have an incredible reach because each 18 blocks of these ultra heavy will increase the radius by one. For this one, it's a little bit more. Um, for 500, you only have a radius of three blocks. So that means um, if you attach this one, which is just metal over here, uh, so 500 metal over here, the radius is only three, so this won't work. But if you attach that one, over here then it will work because the radius is 3 and this is within the radius even though the center of mass is over here the radius is 3 so this is included now we can also do this with this other one still in the radius well this is a radius 2 this is radius 3 and to prove it we can oh well, that one is gone. Um, let's take this one. We can just attach one over there. If it wants to work. Come on. Like that. Now, this one won't work because it's not within this radius so this is radius 4 and um, if you use metal you will need a lot a lot more blocks so 500 and the radius is only three blocks and the same can be seen here so 500 blocks this one works but this other one doesn't as you can see here now 500 of the Durf ultra heavy blocks. So it's the weight that does the, the magic. It's not the amount of blocks. Well, the amount of blocks as well too, because it, it makes the thing heavier. Anyway, it's, it's all about the weight. This is 500 times an ultra heavy block and about 50 blocks further away, it already has an effect on this anti-gravity thing. Now the that is not the only property. If you attach a metal block to this instead of a wooden block, it won't work. Because if you make this heavier, then the base blocks over here need to be heavier too. And metal is a lot heavier than wood. Even stone is like two times heavier and doesn't work. So if it's two times heavier on this block, then you need to be two times as close. Now, we've had the boring part now, um, the boring but really, really, really useful part, because if you don't know this, then you basically cannot create anything 
that is dynamic, not attached to the floor. Because yeah, well, we know that anything attached to the floor doesn't have a center of mass and basically works anyway. But um, now to the interesting parts. How do you actually create anything with it? So we go to the anti-gravity thing and well, how do you create something flying with it? Let's grab it before it flies away and let's actually create something. So attach it to this thing. Have your stuff like this. Uh, should be good enough. And if you if it isn't really if you don't want to care about the center of mass, well the length of these these things, you can always attach a really really heavy block in here, so the center of mass gets pulled to the middle anyway, even whatever length these have. So yeah, they they the wood won't have any effect anymore then. Well it shouldn't. Yeah, it, it still does have a bit of an effect, but not that much. Anyway, how do you create something with it? If you attach a block, then it will go back to the middle and it won't be an anti-gravity anymore. So, to attach your creation, you actually need to have a bearing or a spring in between of it. So, use a spring, for example, and you can attach blocks like that, and you'll have an but uh, well, you can use this to, to do anti-gravity shit now and um, attach a thruster and just do a little buttons and you'll be good to go you can go left and right and forward well, really fast forward. Anyway, um, these two stay together, as you might know. And yeah, um, it'll spawn like this and it will easily detach and be anti-gravity. Now, how to create a monorail with this? Um, the part about the center of mass stuff is really important now because um, stuff won't be having the center of mass or the center center of mass under the axis of the anti-gravity now because um well that's pretty much impossible to do that in a monorail because stuff needs to be aligned and stuff but let's actually check it out now we'll grab this one and this one to lock it so it cannot go so it cannot go in that direction, like left and right. And we also need the up and down one. This one. Now we attach some blocks. Like this. And over here. Oh, over here. And if we attach these ones again without rotating otherwise they get fucked up then we have these three all in one line and that makes it easy to just attach springs or bearings in between these because well you can't attach blocks to these as we just have seen oh this one is screwed up Let me just spawn another one. Um, I need this one. Stash it like that. And now let's just add a bearing, some blocks. Well, these together, and these. Now comes the interesting part. Again, the center of mass stuff. If we make the center of mass over here, then, well, if we, if we make it over here, let's say, 
on this axis, then this one will work instantly. But the problem is, these two have axes like this, and the center of mass cannot be in this axis and this axis. So basically we need to expand the radius of effect of the center of mass. And that is basically done by using some uh, derf modded blocks, um, either glitch wallet like this, or you can just attach them like this, just making a big ass panel out of it. And then it should also work like that. So you don't need to use the glitch wall at once, but yeah, it, it's more useful because it's way easier. If you want to do this out of metal, then you need at least 10 times more metal, I think. Yeah, about 10 times more metal. And well, this is basically how you create a monorail thingy, because this one will be able to be going that, these two directions, but it won't be able to go uh, up and down and not these two either. The only problem now is that it can still tip a bit. So this one is only lim limiting it to go left and right and this, this one too, but this one is only going the up and down thing. So if you want to do that too, then we can just replace this one. with two extra ones in the middle. So anti-gravity, choose this one. Oh, oops. We need the top one attached over here. Top one, attach that over here and remove this. Now, oops, bearings, because otherwise it doesn't work. And now, this one won't allow for up and down movement, and this one won't allow for up and down movement either. And that way, this one cannot dip up and down and also it cannot tip left and right because this one is to, is forcing it to go uh, to not go left and right and this one is also not forcing it to not go left and right for example you want a flyer but you don't want it to, to well a flyer like the, the glitch flyers like like this one a flyer like this but you don't want it to to tip like you don't want it to spaz out like well spaz out you don't want it to wobble like that well then you can just use this one and let's use the bottom one for, uh, for once okay so now we're gonna attach these to the archway that allows us to now over here and let's actually just save one so we can copy this and reuse it. All right, so now in the corners you have these that don't allow for up and down movement. If you connect these using bearings to each other, And also fixed center of mass, so basically you need to attach a shitload of heavy, 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 heavy blocks. Okay, done. Then you'll have something that can fly like that, but... Oh, come on. But it won't tip. Like if you attach weight on this side, it won't tip because it's forcing it to not go up and down on this side and also on that side. And that way all the force that goes down here gets, um, it, it, it's 
trying to push this block down but it doesn't want to and it tries to push this block up because of the rotation of force but it doesn't want to go up either. That is how this works. Now, what else? You can also limit it so it doesn't, uh, it cannot go in the left, right, forward and backward. So that way it can only go up and down. And this is one example of that. So basically you use the, uh, the steering bearings on, basically you use the outer edges of this one. So basically these, these, these and then you attach them over here and always be okay then always be sure to have the base blocks attached to the main creation and the flying wooden blocks to the flying stuff now be careful with this if you mess too much with it then that might happen over there and actually this one is gonna teleport as well, yeah. Use this quickly, if you don't use this quick enough then some blocks might go away, tip it and then some blocks go under the ground into the teleportation border and boom, bye bye creation. Um, so be, be sure to actually use this quick enough or you can just attach a metal block over here to just disable all the uh, all the anti-gravity blocks because then the center of mass is pulled towards this block and then everything just says fuck it it, it doesn't work anymore because the center of mass is over here in this block it's just these are still pulling center of mass to the middle Anyway, so if you want this to work, just use the ultra heavy block in the dirt mod pack. Uh, and well, you can also just use the glitch wallet blocks from the previous video. But yeah, they are kind of dangerous. If you remove the bottom block over here, then these explode and then your world is screwed. So yeah. Or if you need way too many, because if you want to reach of 42 blocks with this this is already 500 then you need to have like 5000 glitch wallet metal blocks and yeah if you want anti gravities to be separated more than um, more than 40 blocks then it's pretty much impossible because then the, the, central, the mass needs to be incredibly huge and well, this block provides that. Also be careful with glitch welding the, uh, the, the blocks from Durf, because this block, for example, is incredibly dense. It's 500 of these ultra heavy blocks and they just fall through, or through the world. It's that freaking dense. <laughs> it just tips an entire creation easily. Anyway, I hope I explained everything. Um, if you have any questions regarding these anti gravities or stuff to create with this, uh, well, Ballistic Squid suggested, well, suggested, he said in the video to create a train, and uh, a train is coming up probably. I'll see if I can do it soon but uh, I don't know we'll see we'll see have fun with this I love to see what you can create with it and see you guys in the next one bye